Cacio e pepe is a very classic Roman pasta dish. It consists of pasta, peppercorns and parmesan. Now I've taken that concept and instead of serving it with pasta, what I'm gonna do is jazz up the good old pumpkin. It's very simple, we only need four ingredients and you need some really good quality extra virgin olive oil for this because this is going to bind it all together. Now first of all, we need to grind our peppercorns. Now these are just the classic peppercorns. I like to grind them as opposed to using a pepper mill because I want them to be quite coarse. So straight into a mortar and pestle. Now these peppercorns are going to impart a sharp, pungent flavour, which is going to contrast nicely with the sweetness of the pumpkin. Peppercorns are probably the most important spice in the world. We use it so much and there's a reason for that. It's because it's so versatile. So just crushing that, not too fine. What I want to do is just expose the white interior of the peppercorn. You can see some parts are fine, but then we've got really coarse pepper there. That's what we're looking for. It smells fantastic. Now for the pumpkin. You can use many different varieties of pumpkin. You can use butternut pumpkin. I'm going to use Kent and I love this variety because it holds its shape nicely when it's cooking. It's easy to chop through and I love this gorgeous green grey skin. I've given it a wash. I'm going to leave the skin on it. So much flavour in the skin. So I need half pumpkin. I've taken all the seeds out and then I'll cut it in half. And then what I'll do is just cut them into big chunky wedges. See how easy it is? Okay, it's four done. And then four on the other side. Pumpkin's also fantastic because it's got that really nice nutty flavour that will go with our parmesan cheese. So the last bit, cut down. Done. All right, the pumpkin's done. Now I've lined two trays with a little bit of baking paper. And then we'll add our pumpkin, just line them up, four on each. Now generously drizzle over some extra virgin olive oil. I'm using some nice Australian extra virgin olive oil. This one has a classic flavour, so we're going to get some grassy overtones, slightly peppery, but not overpowering, because we do want to taste the pepper that we're going to add now. So now let's sprinkle our peppercorns over the pumpkin. And then of course we do need to season this with some salt. So a pinch of salt over each piece of pumpkin. And that's it, this goes into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Depending on how you cut the pumpkin and what type of pumpkin you use, you want them to be just tender with a little bit of give. does this pumpkin look? I'm so happy with it. You know what I love? I love the skin. It almost looks like tiger skin with that little pattern. Now, if you're plating this up, what I suggest is drizzling over some more extra virgin olive oil just for that extra freshness from it. And look how glossy it looks too. Love that. And then while it's still piping hot, we'll grab a few wedges. Those natural sugars in the pumpkin have made them caramelised, a little bit sticky and you just really want to pile them up. I love the dark plate against it because what's going to happen is they're going to pop when I start to grate over. The other very important element of cacio e pepe, which is the parmesan. Now you can finally grate the parmesan over or use a peeler. This is really great because you get those beautiful little flakes of parmesan over our pumpkin. There you have it. Good old pumpkin. Four ingredients in this recipe and I'll tell you what, it really takes pumpkin to the next level. It's gorgeous and it tastes delicious by itself or like I said, with your Sunday roast.